And before the House vote, retiring Republican Congressman Steve LaTourette of Ohio said some of the Republican senators who voted for the compromise, quote, must have been drunk. Well, he also voted yes, <laughs> reluctantly, and he is with us now from Capitol Hill. Congressman, uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us. I have to ask you, uh, this was an extension of the tax cuts uh, for most of the middle class, and yet no spending cuts. How could you vote for that? Well, because it's, it's that Hobson's choice that uh, if, if there was no deal, uh, taxes would have gone up on uh, every American. And the Speaker's stated objective was always to spare as many people in the country as he could from a tax increase. But at the end of the day, we got whooped. Now, I will also say uh, we put Simpson Bowles, the grand bargain, on the floor last spring. I got a grand total of 38 votes on, a, on the big deal. Uh, and uh, 38 votes, even in, in, even in a math challenge person like myself, is not what you need to win. You know, Congressman, I know you were joking when you accused some of the senators of that they must right. have been drunk when they voted for this. But I have to tell yeah. you, you've left this country with a huge hangover because now yeah. you've got about $4 trillion in debt added uh, to yeah. the deficit and no spending cuts. I mean, again, what is it, wrong with Congress? Well, it, it's outrageous, and it's because no one will make the difficult decisions necessary to get this thing done. This is a this is a problem that requires a four to six trillion dollar fix. Quite frankly, the president won't show the leadership to do it on the entitlement side. We've been slow to the dance on on the revenue side, and just about the senators being drunk. Since you mentioned it twice, my my <laughs> wife has yelled at me, and I'm supposed to say that nothing good happens after midnight on New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Congressman, I, I mean, you make the point. I mean, basically, there were no hard decisions made here, really. You haven't dealt nope. with the debt ceiling. You haven't dealt right. with the deficit. You haven't dealt with spending right. cuts. I mean, isn't yep. this just legislation by procrastination? Well, it's worse than that because, you know, even, even if you take the president's numbers on, on what the extra revenue is, it's about $660 billion over 10 years, which is $66 billion a year. It has $600 billion of new spending. So not only does it cut spending, it, it, it increases spending by a little bit. Uh, and we're borrowing a trillion. So you don't have to be a, a math professor to figure out that, that even if the president, and we all knew the president was going to get his way. He, he campaigned on raising taxes. He wanted to raise taxes. He wins. But, but now it's time for people to face up to the fact that it's not just on the revenue side. You really have to come to grips with some of these programs that have been around since the Great Depression and figure out how to make them viable and sustainable uh, in 2012. Two quick, two quick questions, Congressman, real quick. Yeah. Wouldn't you have yeah. been better off if Boehner had accepted the first deal with Obama? At least you would have gotten some spending cuts. No, no. The, the, the president was never serious about spending cuts. And, and the, the president's spending cuts, you know, he put chain CPI sort of at the 11th hour on the table. That's $300 billion over 10 years. That's a joke as well. This required a, a big deal on taxes, on spending, and everybody's afraid to make the deal. Congressman, a lot of people are outraged that the House canceled its plan to vote on a relief package for victims of, of Superstorm yeah. Sandy. Uh, Senator yeah. Schumer called it heartless. Why was there a yeah. reversal here? Well, the reversal came about basically the same, I called them chuckleheads, and I'll call them chuckleheads again, the same chuckleheads who uh, jettisoned Plan B on this uh, tax discussion a week ago said, you know what, the $60 billion or 27 and 33 isn't paid for. Uh, and uh, because it's not paid for, we're not going to do anything about it. You know, I, I guess they don't have TVs uh, in, in their homes, and they haven't seen the suffering on Staten Island and, and the coastal New Jersey. It just doesn't make any sense to me. An emergency is an emergency. These are Americans who are suffering. We should have had the vote. Uh, and, uh, you know, I talked to the speaker in the cloakroom at 11 o'clock last night. He says he's going to take care of it quickly. I hope he does, because this is another example of people just not getting it. Congressman Steve LaTourette, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.